All right, welcome back on our very wet Wednesday. What a day we've had across the region. Just a lot of rainfall and again, depending on where you're located, some have seen uh, lesser, lighter amounts of rain. Others you've seen some pretty heavy showers out there. The rain really building up. We're going to continue to see uh, rain off and on heavier as opposed to lighter, depending again on where you're located and the timing. What does that all mean? Potential for some flash flooding is there. Here's what we've got excessive rain outlook for today, but this goes into tomorrow as well. That slight risk area that indicates we have the chance of seeing heavy rain up to two inches in an hour and localized areas of flash flooding possible. You're in the green. That's at marginal risk. And again, we jumped to tonight. We jumped to tomorrow. That area is going to expand a little bit as those showers push to the east. So here we go again. Low pressure slowly moving through the region, bringing all that rain. Now, right now, where that low is located is we're kind of ahead of the low. What's going to happen? And we'll see here in just a second. Eventually, we'll jump behind. We're going to see some wraparound rainfall. So once this area moves through, we're certainly not done. In fact, we have a long way to go. Yellow Sherry's uh, area shaded in yellow here, I should say in orange. That's some of the heavy rain just now starting to hear it right here on our roof. Just in the last about minute or so picking up in Fargo Castleton as well getting hit. So let's take a look at our first alert forecast. We kind of watch the movement of this rain. We're stopped at 11 o'clock tonight. Notice still looking at some pretty good pockets of heavier rain. We jump into about two o'clock in the morning. Same scenario. So that range is building, just gathering. That's why we have that opportunity for flash flooding. Gets a little bit lighter, shifts more toward the north, northwest uh, Minnesota, northeast North Dakota here. But again, we jump into the afternoon hours tomorrow into the evening. See what happens now. Now we are on the western side of that low. That rain wraps around. That goes through Thursday night into Friday. Eventually the system will wind down. We'll see less rain by Friday morning. Going to take some time for the clouds to break, so I think it's going to be Friday afternoon and evening before we start to see that sun really pop back out. That's going to give us a nice weekend, though. Rainfall totals, you see the orange, you see the red. That's a potential there between 6 p.m. and Friday morning to see one, two, three inches of rainfall, maybe even more than that in some areas. Not all areas are going to see that, but notice the wide coverage here. Most are going to see at least half an inch of rain. Current conditions, again, rain coming down 69 degrees. Fargo, Moorhead at 68. Grand Forks, you've got rain as well. 71 degrees and wind gust up to 24 miles per hour in Grand Forks. Temperatures upper 60s to mid 70s. We typically don't see a lot of movement in temperature when we've got the low cloud cover, uh, the rainfall. You see lows uh, only dropping a few degrees and our highs tomorrow only warming back up a few degrees. Much cooler than normal. Mid 60s, low 70s. 11 day planner again on Friday. Kind of a, a day where we are going to see sun, but again, I think it's going to take some time. So we're going to start cloudy, a few light showers by late afternoon, evening. That sun really comes back out. Leaves, leaves us with a nice weekend. 82 Saturday, 84 Sunday and Monday. I think all three of those days dry. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll start to see chances for showers next week. Right now, uh, nothing like this system we're going through. Just some of the scattered showers. Temperatures will be nice. We're looking at uh, upper 70s, low 80s as we head toward Tuesday and beyond. The rain sticking around a little while, but this is the coolest day, the wettest day we're probably going to see for that forecast. Today, and, and that'll uh, leak over into tomorrow, tomorrow as well, too. yeah. Thanks, Russ. Yeah.